Hi, Gary. How are you today? I'm excellent. Good. Thanks for having me. Thanks for coming today. I wanted to talk to you a little bit about some of the equipment that you have, the technologies. Let's talk about the Combi Carrier Tube. Well, our initial goals were to basically um, solve many of the complaints that people had about the scoop stretcher. Mm -hmm. So we did a number of things. One, we moved the uh, latch mechanism over to the side. We made it an off-center latch. Uh, made it a lot great. easier to work mm -hmm. around the person's head. Yes. And it works true. much more like a plastic spatula mm -hmm. that's going underneath the patient. Okay. And it does separate at both ends. It also has a continuous head surface. So um, mm. patient is most likely not going to be um, extended when they're laying on a, okay. a backboard. So there's better neutral alignment for the Great. patient. In the 13, 12, 13 years we've been making that device, we haven't had a single return mm -hmm. of that device. Um, so it's basically much more durable. It is a polyethylene shell, once again, too. Mm -hmm. So you got rid of all your drive screws. You got rid of all the roll pins. Mm -hmm. um, we went to a single leading edge as opposed to having multiple panels. So we got rid of all the corners. Mm -hmm. So you don't have as much of a pinching problem. Uh, and the total profile of the device, how does that compare to a, a backboard? Uh, it's actually a little bit longer. It's about an inch, inch and a half longer mm -hmm. than the standard backboard. And it's a 16 inches in width, which mm -hmm. is pretty much the width of your standard backboard. Okay. So it fits in all your standard backboard compartments, Terrific. which is a real concern too of storage space mm -hmm. for most apartments. Mm -hmm. So now they have basically one product that serves as two products in one, so it's a lot more versatile. Um, some of the research that's been out there has really been pointing toward vacuum splint technology as being the standard that we should strive toward. And I know that you have a fast splint out there, and I'd like to hear more about that. You basically have a shell envelope that's filled with small polystyrene beads, and then this would be molded around a person, and then you'd open the valve, connect some type mm -hmm. of pump, either a manual pump or their portable suction mm -hmm. device, and suck the air out while it's molded around the uh, extremity or the hips or wherever it's being used. And then the air is evacuated out of the splint, the valve is closed, and you basically have a moldable cast that fits mm -hmm. to each individual person. So it's the only thing out there that basically is going to be able to immobilize without applying unnecessary circumferential pressure. Mm -hmm. And that's the issue where the uh, physicians and the trauma docs really like it because it doesn't basically cause any more vessel damage or nerve damage. Okay. So soft um, no tissue injury. Soft tissue injury. Mm -hmm. The fast splint full body is meant to uh, be used in conjunction with a standard backboard or our combi carrier two mm -hmm. or an older aluminum scoop. It's some supporting structure um, that will go underneath the device and then the patient can be lifted uh, once they've been secured with the straps um, mm -hmm. around the fast splint full body. Mm -hmm. uh, you have two devices. You have the vacuum splint as well as the fast splint, and the vacuum splint's been around for about 18 years. Talk to me a little bit about the differences between the two. The vacuum splint product line um, is our uh, original product. Mm -hmm. It uses a heavier material. It's made to be a durable product. Some services have had them 10, 15 years. Um, it also has some straps that um, are attached to that device, whereas the fast splint is um, a lower uh, cost item. We tried mm -hmm. to use the same technology in regards to the beads, mm -hmm. but it's not meant to last 10 or 15 years. Uh, we market it as a semi-disposable splint. Mm -hmm. and we have it both with the extremity splints as well as our new um, full body um, immobilizer. Mm -hmm. um, and so this is now allowing many more departments to basically get into it at an affordable price point and get the clinical benefits of that technology. Great. Well, Gary, thanks a lot for spending time with us today. It's really great that your products are out there. I really am hoping that this information will get out to the practitioner so they understand that this type of equipment will help improve their ability to manage the care of that patient with a spine injury. So I appreciate your time. Thank you very much, and it's been my pleasure.